was a, a grinded out win, uh, good conference win today against, uh, I think, one of the best coaches who really has our number almost every time in, in, in Cindy there at St. Joe's. Uh, they're always really well prepared with their scouts. And uh, I just feel really, really good about this win. I thought we played a lot better than we have uh, overall in, in the last three or four games uh, for four quarters. You know, at Davidson, we played well for two and a half quarters. Today, I thought we played really well for basically, uh, you know, all but the last three or four minutes of the game. And uh, that's for some of the reserves uh, that have to continue to get better. And, and it's hard for them to come in cold and, and do what they, they have to do. Uh, but uh, overall, pleased with today. You normally, set, you normally set a checklist for your team, win by double digits, win each quarter, spread the ball around, score the ball. You really were able to accomplish a lot of that today with the four, four players and double figures. You won each quarter. Every possession wasn't necessarily the sweat that it's been before. Do you feel like you accomplished a lot of that as well? And if so, how so? Yeah, I, I think we, uh, we played a very nice basketball game today. We shared the ball. We changed sides of the floor, which was critical for us. Uh, you know, Coach Matt did a great job of really emphasizing that in practice. Uh, when we change sides of the floor, we become very effective. So when you swing, swing, and then attack, you're going to get a really good shot. And we did that a lot today, a lot. And then uh, you know, our outside shooting came back. It wasn't great, but it was back. And uh, w when we can at least shoot 30% from the field, uh, we're going to have a lot of success because it opens up the post play. And uh, they played behind us in the post and uh, didn't really look to double us. And I think that's pretty dangerous because when Amadea and Kadri face up, uh, they're pretty good at being able to drive the ball, uh, especially against a little bit of a bigger post player. With, their, with the three-point shooting, perhaps highlighted in the first quarter, you guys did take the seven attempts. You're the aggressors that you said that you wanted to be from there early in the season. They had nothing from, in, from three in the first quarter. Is that maybe a point of emphasis on both ends in this game? It was for uh, Kadri on loss. Um, you know, I wanted Kadri to shoot the three. I've been saying it to her for the last two or three games. And uh, she had two tonight, two tonight. And, uh, you know, I want her to shoot that trail three, even more than the elbow jumper. I want her shooting the trail three off of reversal or off the initial pass because um, they're leaving her wide open there. And she shoots it so well, and she kind of went away from it for a long period of time. Um, you know, I like that shot more than I like the elbow shot. And, and she shoots it well from the elbow, but she hasn't been recently. And, uh, and I thought she played much better. Uh, she played much better tonight, not to the standard where we want her, but it's coming back around and I'm happy with that. Uh, to put four into double figures, I felt really good about that. You know, I think if we shoot the ball from the free throw line, Amadea does a little bit better there. I think we're in, in much better shape, but I thought Amadea just really battled and played so hard. I, it, it, the difference between Amadea as a freshman and now is immense in terms of her confidence and her willingness to be physical and mix it up. Uh, and that, all the credit of that goes to Amadea because she chose to embrace those roles, and she's done it on an everyday basis. How would you describe that transformation, being a used sparingly freshman to maybe not the most consistent off the court until the lights came on to now being able to exert herself every day where 14 and 9 is good, frankly, I had her with a double-double. 14 and 9 is good, and she just showed herself again and again, and time is through, and the standard's higher for her. Yeah, you know, it's, it's one of those things where, as a coach, you know, I'm disappointed that I didn't redshirt her her freshman year, and that's on me. And, it, 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 you know, I think about that every day, and it gnaws at me because, uh, you know, she's only got one more year, le year left, and she's really a special kid. And, uh, you know, everything that she does in life is at 100% everything. Uh, her mother is here from Hungary, and her, her mother said uh, to my wife, she just needs to relax. <laughs> and, and the kid is just so dedicated to basketball and academics. She's the true definition of what a student athlete is. I mean, she's done a great job. Why do you kick yourself over the red shirt then, considering she's going to adjust to everything? It, you know, we would have had, we, we could have taken that year and use that as a developmental year, like we're doing with Paige Cannon, like we'll do with Angela Staffolino and Eniku Kuther next year. Um, I think post players always develop late, and uh, I'd like to be able to redshirt each post player. Uh, we won't be able to do that with Kadri because she's just so darn good. Uh, but as we move into the future, we're always going to look to redshirt the freshman posts. With, with 
Codger, I know you were talking a little bit about the three earlier. She said earlier that she shot the second one because the first one went in and it gave her confidence. Is that something maybe that... <laughs> That's anybody, Zach. I mean, like, if you, if, you, if you make one, you're like, hey, I think I can do this. And, and uh, I think Codger needed a little bit of confidence building. And we've tried to be do doing that. We're a very positive approach in terms of the way we coach. And uh, we were really trying to be positive with her. But the one thing that we really challenged her on was is uh, let's go away from shooting the, the sweeping hook off the post up. And let's put our shoulder into people's chest and really pound it with two dribbles and get to the free throw line and go up through people's face, uh, someone's face, the defender's face, and really try to create contact and make the officials blow the whistle. We still have a little bit of work to do there. With, I know, you, you've constantly said, green light from three, don't be afraid to take it. You see Brianna Thomas take threes. Anybody one through 15 is open to take the three. What is it, knowing that she has that green light for Kadri, that continues to maybe hold her back confidence-wise from shooting it more consistently? I don't know. I just, I think, I, I really don't know. I mean, I, I just think it was a situation where she got away from it. Um, she missed a couple earlier in the year and just kind of moved away from that and thought, you know, I'll have greater success closer into the basket. I'll pass the ball, I'll rebound the ball. And, and I mean, when you look at the kid, she, she's credited with four blocks. I think she had more than four blocks. And she's been a great defender for us. So, you know, sometimes on a team where you have more than multiple weapons who can all score, she doesn't necessarily have to look to score. But for us to have success as we move further into February and into March, she's going to have to be an effective scorer like she was tonight. We've talked before. I know better than to ask about the next opponent. I've learned that the hard way way too many times. But I had to think even who it was, to be honest uh, with you, <laughs> St. Louis. Considering you, have two, you do still have two on the road coming up next yeah. week. It's an improving St. Louis team and a tough place to play at Dayton. What do you do to continue to keep the momentum going on a road where you've had a lot of success away from the Palumbo Center? You don't change things. You just keep doing what we're doing. And uh, what we'll do is, is we'll take tomorrow off, and Monday we'll have the kids uh, lift, stretch, recovery with our strength coach, uh, Dennis Katurich, and then we will not practice on Monday. We'll practice on Tuesday, Wednesday, leave Wednesday, and play on Thursday at St. Louis. Uh, we'll get up on Friday, and we'll fly to Dayton, and we'll spend Friday and Saturday in Dayton and play the game on Sunday. Uh, we will not return to Duquesne. Um, you know, for us, I, I couldn't tell you one thing about St. Louis at this point. I've not watched a single thing other than Lisa Stone, their head coach, is a friend, and I have great respect for Lisa. I love her to death. Her and her husband are great people, and she's done a lot with that program in three years. Uh, they've got a very good point guard. They've got a very good post player. That's about all I know right now. Give me a day.